And Aiken Couple has taken over the beard, the beard world, <laughs> and we had the opportunity to interview Aaron Johnston a couple of months ago. But this time, we have his wife in too, Natalie. They're both competitive beard growers and have taken home the gold in several competitions. And uh, most recently, when we spoke to Aaron last time, he was headed to Indiana, both Absolutely. of you. Mm -hmm. yep. And he also took home the win in both your categories. So this is really neat what you're doing. Just kind of take us back to the beginning. How did you both get started in this? Who, who, who wants, wants to answer to that? that? <laughs> so I'll, I'll answer it. So yeah, I've, I've answered this a bunch of times. So we watched a reality TV show in 2012 called Whisker Wars. And I already had just a regular beard working at Savannah River site. So that prompted me to stop trimming my beard and started doing competitive bearding. In 2014, we went to Charleston. That's when we learned that uh, women competed as mm -hmm. well, and all these events were charity fundraisers, and th those are things we didn't learn on the reality show. It was just yeah. all about parties, pretty much. But there's a, it, it goes a lot deeper, and uh, it's, a, it's a lot of fun, and, and it actually has a meaning mm -hmm. behind you know all these events. So it's, it's, a, it's cool. We like doing it. Now, Natalie obviously doesn't have any hair on her face right now. No. We'll get to <laughs> that in a second. But it's good to see you because last time Aaron was here, you were supposed to be here too. You've got your good and bad days. Yes, sir. Uh, when it comes to your health, you're currently actually on a kidney transplant list. Yes, sir. Uh, what's that process been like? Uh, and, and how has actually being part of this uh, genre helped you? So um, I'm currently on the transplant list, which I only have one kidney. I had one taken out about a year and a half, two years ago, because mm -hmm. my kidneys, I have polycystic uh, kidney disorder, along with having very little function. It's very big. Um, so I'm in a lot of pain all the time. It, it sucks. But bearding has brought like a love to me to where I can have something to look forward to. Like I may be in pain and sitting at home and not feeling well, right. but then I can create a beard. And when I go on stage and show it off for a few moments, I'm there and I it takes me out of feeling like I'm just a waste of space, I guess. I don't know how to really describe that. Right. So bearding has really helped me a lot, both mentally and physically. And I'm also a very shy, awkward person. I don't know if you could tell just by looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> but when I'm on stage and I'm bearding, it just, it brings out a part of you that you don't even realize. Yeah, that's yeah, that, me. I love that picture. Uh, that's my, that. And there you go, right there. Yeah, look yes. at that. And uh, you're what they call a whiskerina. Yes, okay. I don't grow my own hair, obviously. <laughs> uh -huh. um, but what I do is I take fake and uh, synthetic or real hair. I go to a local weave shop, and then I t take the hair, and I take it onto a wig netting. I just attach it, and then I style it, and then... You get what you just saw on the screen a few minutes come ago. Come up with your amazing creations, like, yeah. like that one. Yeah, and that, that's the question. How do you come up with these designs? I wish I could say that I had a plan, but honestly, all I do is I sit there and I let my hands do the magic. And then, like, the creative ones, like that big mustache you just saw, right. I was bored one day, and I had heard about this craft called quilling, where you tw twirl paper and stuff, and I just made a bunch of pieces and then I was like, you know what? I'm going to make a mustache out of this. And it looks really cool. So how Thank long roughly do these take you? About two hours from start mm. to finish. Wow. There, there's some that I've spent up to five hours on, but I'm, I'm decently quick with what I do. So on average, two hours. I would say that quilling one probably took you the longest because she yep. was packing the her little box of little quilling papers and the little tool. She was packing them all around the country. Like we'd country be driving in the car and I would just work on it for a she few She worked minutes. on that one for a good while, I would say. But yeah. the actual construction didn't take very no. long. And this has actually become a kind of a full-time thing for you. You were just in Indiana. You guys were yes. in uh, Germany. You're back here now. Uh, what's next for both of you? Oh, my gosh. As far as comparison competitions go so we've got Chattanooga a few, and Nashville so we have Chattanooga coming up this weekend in Nashville so back-to-back -back weekends of short drives like four and seven hours but then uh, after that we go to Sioux Falls South Dakota the following weekend and then the weekend after that is Los Angeles so instead of driving all the way back to Aiken we're just going to leave Sioux Falls and drive across the country to Los Angeles and probably go to Disneyland while we're there I mean might as well might right as well. we drove all the way across the country and uh, yeah go to LA and come back home Okay, well, there you have it. You're just busy. <laughs> it doesn't sure. stop. It doesn't stop. We actually do have the link right now on the screen for anyone that would like to become a donor and help Natalie out right there. She's looking for a kidney. You can just head to that website right there. And really quick, we're kind of running out of time. Where can people go to follow both of you and your journey? 
Um, I'm on simple. It's just Natalie, N A T A L I, no E. Uh -huh. Johnston at gmail.com. Yeah, so yeah, all, all, of our, all of our social medias it's as well. If you want to email her, go yeah. ahead. She I wants an know. email. Find them on the socials. Know. There you yeah, go. Erdy Johnson. Uh, you can you, you can probably tell which one is which. Uh, yeah. At that point. yeah. I'm this one. Okay. <laughs> She's that one. We like Erdy. Natalie, thanks so much. Thanks, You're welcome. You Thank you for best. having us. Thank you.